Okay, so when you joined the company, uh, did he say you start at the bottom and you work your way up, or he said you can start at number two? <laughs> well, that's maybe what I wanted to happen. No, he definitely uh, put me through a wonderful, you know, kind of de facto training without us either of us really ever talking about it that way. So one summer I climbed poles and learned to be an installer, had real trouble holding the ladder because I was pretty weak and 15 years old. Another summer I sold door to door uh, HBO subscriptions and cable subscriptions. It was brand new in Westmoreland, Pennsylvania. Another summer I went and sold Muzak, which was a business Comcast was in at the time, installing and selling. Right. So when I got out of Wharton School uh, undergrad, um, I was like a finance major. I was like, well, let's go and do deals. And he said, no, move to Trenton, New Jersey. I never worked in cable. That was one of my later businesses in life was my dad was in his 40s when he started Comcast, which is a great lesson for people. If you haven't found your thing yet and you're 40 years old, it's not too late. And uh, many people think it's way too late. And he said, but I never will know this business. Why don't you learn it as well from the bottom up every job? So I moved to Trenton and learned the billing system and worked the counter when customers paid their bill. And when the truck delivered the new cable boxes, it was a brand new system in Trenton, you know, get out and everybody roll up their sleeves and unload the warehouse. So I had a pleasure of doing all the jobs and something for me just clicked. I loved the business, I love being around people, and I love being in management um, at a young age. When you're in a business with your father, do you call him in front of other people, Dad, or do you say Ralph, or what did you do? I called him Ralph, Ralph. and um, it, when we had, he had all his grandkids, um, he had all the grandkids call him Ralph. And one of the great things that he did for my daughter, who was now just had her own child a few weeks ago, he said, every kid learns the word no. That's one of the first words they learned. So he got on the ground with all the little grandbabies and would go like this and said, yes, yes. And one of the amazing things my wife and I enjoy with my dad and I think my siblings did and with my mom is his positive attitude about life. And it, it, it came out for all the employees. The, we had a yes attitude. You became the employee in 1981 when you joined, but you became the CEO in 19... Well, we didn't use president. that title between my dad and myself. 1990, I became the president. president. Yeah, I was about 30 years old. And did anybody say, well, is he really ready to be president yet? Or Everybody, um, including myself. Um, but I was very uh, eager to, having worked for many years, half a dozen years in different jobs in Trenton, in Flint, Michigan, in Dallas, in Pittsburgh, and then Trenton again, back in Philadelphia and then in the corporate side in finance. My dad was still active, but he was 40 years older than I was, so I was 30, he was 70. And he wanted to begin a continuity without an abrupt change, so we worked as partners really from then on until he died. 